Oracle number seven. There will be similar to other ones. I think there are a lot of realms where we have delegated the authority to our government for obvious reasons, because when you have a corporation against a consumer and like, is this going to cause cancer? Is this going to destroy our planet? We would like to know that there's someone standing up for us, especially in a world where the internet didn't exist and we needed to believe the government had more knowledge than we did. But now that the internet does exist and governments have been shown to be just as corrupt as corporations, it's hard for me to trust them fully, even though I'm glad that they exist to some degree. So being able to take that power back I don't think necessarily means lobbying and getting getting the power back, but just starting where we are and saying, okay, well, if I can't trust you to make sure that my soil and water and air are clean, then I'm going to trust us to do that. And I think part of where that happens is in testing. So to test the soil all around where we live, and that involves community labs which is maybe another whole other apple because it's something that doesn't happen on day one. It's when there's millions of people involved, not one person involved. And so community labs, but in the meantime, you can have, if it costs, instead of hundreds of dollars to get your stuff tested, it costs $10 or a dollar. And you're able to start community labs in larger cities and test the water and the, I don't actually know how you test the air, but test the soil and have temperature, I mean, now I'm in Canada, so I'm not in America, but with Trump's taking down all of the environmental information off the government, EPA, I think it is, Environmental Protection Agency website, that's ridiculous. That should never be allowed to happen because it should be in the hands of the people, not the government. So we should have all of the information that would have been available there available on backup so it's you can't take it down because we have it and I think they do actually I think they knew that was going to kind of going to happen and so the information was, that was on there has been saved but anyway that's probably back a whole other way but being able to own our own information to be able to map the health of soil and water all over the world because we do it. So I could do, take it from my backyard. And if my neighbors agreed, I could take it from their backyards. I could take it from by the, the road and by, I mean, but when it's hundreds of dollars to test it, then that's going to be nearly impossible for me to afford that. But if there were 10,000 people who did that through Vancouver and we were able to get a deal, so it was, you know, I don't know hundred thousand dollars so it was ten dollars per sample that would be more feasible and each person puts in ten ten dollars and gets our soil and we, we plot it that's yes one of the ideas is we take back the EPA and that's that's like a small section of the EPA that's just like soil and water testing but where we have community labs and we're able to do our own testing and especially if it's ten thousand people doing it and ten thousand people sending in their soil sample there's going to be less likely to be corruption or the ability to false to have false data if you're all in the same lab that's another another issue which it probably would be but as we are able to send in samples all over the world to different organizations and follow it I think we have we'll just have way more information which will make us more powerful